What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder battle. We've got Soma versus Flash. Finally, a Flash versus Zerg game. I've been looking for one of these for a while, but uh, it seems like he keeps matching up with tons of Protoss players. And yes, his Protoss or his Terran versus Protoss has evolved quite a bit lately. He's been improving rapidly. Big leaps in that matchup for sure. We haven't gotten a sense of how he's doing in Terran versus Zerg. So this is a great opportunity. We've got one game versus Soma to look at. Of course, Soma just back from the military himself. He is, uh, you know, tightening up his game right now. And like I said, one of the few players who's actually playing Zerg, one of the few pro players actually playing Zerg on the ladder. A lot of them are playing Terran, messing around off race. Some playing Protoss. We just saw yesterday Soul Key versus uh, Snow. Soul Key was playing Terran. I'll probably put a link up there for you guys if you want to check that out. But here, we're going to watch a probably pretty aggressive game, I would have to imagine. It's not looking crazy just yet, but we've already got a pool. Some sort of over pool build here from Soma. Which means he's likely to get pretty aggressive and he's going to keep it very low econ. We're unlikely to see like a 2.5 hatch out of him. Whereas Flash, it appears he wants to go for a 1 Rax fast expand. Now he's not going to be building up a wall like a lot of players, a lot of Terran players would do here. You know, Barracks. I think he can do it on this position. I can't remember though. Barracks, Supply, Supply. I think that's a nod to the air dominance of Soma. Soma is so good at putting on pressure with a, a few mutas in the early game. You kind of have to respect it here as Flash. Because if you've got two supply depots here, he might just kill both of those and bounce the glaives onto a whole bunch of other units and buildings and just make your life really, really hard. So it's going to be very hard to to actually defend that. So he's just going to respect Soma by instead of putting it on low ground and setting up that wall to make himself safe against Lynx, he's just going to keep two SCVs on the ramp and keep himself safe that way against this early pool. And Soma's really not going to get too much out of this aside from some lost mining time on these two SCVs. Forcing the command center to, built on, to be built on high ground is nice as well. He's now going to be able to push out with these naked marines. Flash here. Playing with fire a little bit. Ling speed's about halfway done. There are some other lings on the map, but they're going to be brought back home to deal with this SCV in the main. He wants to get rid of those so that he could potentially flood lings. And at least force... Flash to play on the defensive. If Flash keeps in here... Oh god, he's going to lose both these links. That's bad. That is really bad for Soma. Uncharacteristic mistake there from him. Flash playing at 400 APM. He is on fire right now. Coming across the map with these uh, Marines. He sees more links pop out though. And he decides to head back home. That's his only four links, but there is speed now. Six Marines on the field. SCV's just getting transferred. Second gas coming up. It's a two hatch build. A straight up old school two hatch here from Soma out of the uh, pool first build. Let's see what kind of damage he can get done with this. Is he going to send out a drone as well? It looks like he's got enough income here. What have we got? Five drones in the natural. A sixth is going to join the party. There's a seventh drone as well. So that is enough drones to get a third hatch. And it looks like he will send that out. Sometimes you'll see players build a few more lings in the early game. And then it's not really possible to get a third hatch out at all. You just don't have enough income to make that happen. Like let's say if there was only four drones here. You would have to keep all of those mining and not build a third hatch in order to make six mutas. He's also going to get Flyer Carapace. Interesting. Are we going to go for some sort of Guardian play? The engineering base done. Plus one just now starting. This is not a 
fast plus one build this is a two racks but flash did not push out with his racks and he built a bunker so he's playing really really safe right now a lot of terran players would actually push out with their marines and try to put some pressure on right as the mutas are being made try to force out a sunken or something an emergency sunken but he hasn't done that he's just stayed back home let's see what the mutas can do Flash getting his second turret up in the barracks line. His mineral line has two turrets as well. He's looking well defended. This is going to be a tough spot to get into. If the Mutalist managed to slip back into this pocket, how are you going to get Marines through either of these two pathways? It's going to be really tough. Oh, he's diving on the bunker right now. Interesting. Just going to clear that up really quick. But he does take quite a bit of damage on the mutas. I think he lost one as well. And all the links went down. So this is not the greatest trade. But he has opened up the position a little bit. I'd love to see Flash just rebuild that bunker. Like go ahead. Kill it again. Take another bad trade. It just kind of resets the progress made by, uh, by Soma. But instead he's just going to start to move out. Trying to stim and chase. But Soma... Smartly ducking away and allowing the medic energy to run dry here. See how much medic energy we actually have on these 78, 82. Okay, pretty decent medic energy here. Killing off quite a few Marines. Great micro by Soma. This is the Soma that we know and love. See how much damage he got out of that? Just crazy. Hitting it at the perfect angles there. Not allowing the Marines to split up by hitting them right on that bridge. Even though it's a large bridge, if you've got a little bit of a corner here, it makes it hard for the Marines to move around to actually shoot. He's doing an excellent job of just utilizing that fact to get big damage on the, those Marines. Now he's going into a Hydralis den. Oh, he's coming back in for some more kills on the Marines. So far, I'd say Soma is really dominating. He is completely crushing these bio forces, and he's getting right in here now. He will be able to delay the starports as well. Kill some more SCVs potentially. He could go after these medics as well. More Marines are incrementing out and they're just getting killed immediately. Yeah, Soma's in a amazing position. If he manages to get a bunch of Lurkers over here, which he has Lurker upgrade on the way, he's going to start making Hydras here pretty soon. And this is still a big group of Mutalists to deal with. This is going to take Flash quite a long time to clear out. And now we're in the pocket as well. This is so bad. Soma is maybe just going to dominate Flash here. Kind of shocking after watching Flash get so many great results against strong Protoss players. Able to dominate now both Motive and Snow. But Soma, with his excellent Mutalist control, is now going to dive right on top of these turrets. Flash is going to turn and try to catch this. But I think that this is just a pure distraction tactic. He's clearing out this area. Going to kill even more SCVs. Keep the uh, Marines inside the main base. This is his only real goal right now. Getting the Queen's Nest going. His Lurker aspect is just about to finish. His Hydras must be coming. Where are they? Okay, he's actually just making Mutas right now. Maybe he wants to go for just a Mutalisk finish. We do have an Armory almost done. But again, these Starports have been so delayed. Even if the armory finishes, it doesn't really matter. Like, what, what's this armory for there, Flash? You know you don't have any starports finished. Oh my goodness. He is just tearing him apart. This is reminiscent of, like, Soma pre-military, you know? Like, just one or two years before that military service, he was so dominant with his mutilist control Ending Terran lives left, right, and center with just two Hatchmuta. And he does it here again against Flash. You can see Flash still a bit rusty in some of his matchups. His TVP seems to be a, uh, in place. But his TVZ appears to be lacking. Soma, again, fresh back from the military. A dominating performance against Flash. We'll have to keep watching Flash to make sure or to see his evolution as a Terran player, uh, as he comes back into this matchup and, you know, clears things out or sharpens up his play. Soma looking great, though. I want to see more games from him as well. Hopefully, we'll get a long series between these two sooner rather than later. 
If you're excited for that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll be watching both these players very carefully and their games on ladder will be recorded through seawall.gg. If you guys haven't checked out that website, definitely go check them out. That's where all these replays come from. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.